But I think <coughs> if we look at the project I've done, a kind of a shape which I think looks like a, a very beautiful, beautiful car, uh, and I have covered this with ice or have used ice in defining the shape. This means that the car is at this point at least frozen, and frozen of course is like kind of suspended, it doesn't move, it's like kind of caught. It's not necessarily caught in time as ice is very ephemeral and it's really beautiful I think, but it's caught in, in, in a sense that it, it is very fragile. It has almost become um, uh, like a, this, uh, it's almost like a fragile skin, it doesn't I think um, uh, it, it shows its vulnerability by its dependence to its environment. It is a, it is a, a highly sensitive surface, you could say ice. Uh, it's, so uh, being highly sensitive like this, the car obviously has to stand in a highly manicured space, a frozen space, a freezer or a freezing, frozen room. And what happens, I think, is that when you have a room, a fairly uh, domestically sized room, and the size of a big garage almost, uh, which is minus 10 degrees, and you have people coming into this room, you instantly have the reaction that people start to freeze, logically. Uh, and, and what then happens, the next thing is, you, you have people say, oh, it's really cold here. Aha, the car is frozen, it, that's why it's cold, otherwise it would melt. The environment has kind of, you know, has been created to fit the car but not the person. So you need to uh, re-evaluate the way you move. You, come to, you start to readdress the, the kind of economizing with your own energy. A body has a certain amount of energy. If you don't eat and, and drink for a little while, the energy runs out and you will uh, you'll collapse and you'll die eventually. Just like a car and uh, it's, um, it has a, really, has a quite uh, frank relationship with energy. So in this case I transferred the kind of uh, relationship with energy from the object, from the car, which in this point is standing still, to the person who is then moving around.